everybody. It's early in the morning on a Friday morning in East Tennessee at my house. And, of course, I can't sleep. So I thought I would, uh, I can't really talk and I can't really uh, do much of anything right now. But uh, I thought I would give a shot at this video. And uh, I was sitting here thinking a few minutes ago about some ironies of life and Parkinson's disease. So that's what I'm going to talk about here. Um, and I'll probably go on a few rabbit trails in the meantime. But uh, anyway, here goes. This is for my blog. Uh, I'm going to do a video blog. I'm really high tech today, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing this on my husband's iPad, which uh, is only good for certain things. But uh, it's easier to get the camera up on it than the other computer. Uh, but you know how they have these nice little gizmos that you can sit your iPad on so you can see and read well? Well, I'm using my shoe to prop it up right now. <laughs> Pretty, well, it's about the same price as some of that stuff, but anyway. It was just what I had handy, so I used it. Okay, let's start with some ironies about uh, just life in general. Um, I was thinking how uh, one of the funniest things that I heard my friend say was uh, she was talking about how somebody... Uh, thought that she could walk on water. It just struck me as so funny at the time. But anyway, I've always liked that story in the Bible about when uh, when Jesus' disciples got out of the boat and walked on water because he believed in him. Uh, I wish I could walk on water. <laughs> I wish I had that kind of faith all the time, but I don't. That's one of life's ironies. Uh, but I think it's just the right time I have enough. And uh, I thank God for that. Anyway, uh, one of the things that kind of got me thinking about this uh, a friend who uh, I really admire for writing is Sherry Woodbridge uh, she uh, put an article up on Facebook tonight about when uh, she came to visit me in Tennessee and uh, that was a uh, that was gosh a long time ago about four or five years ago because I remember we went uh, up in Kentucky to see her brother and we came back on the day that Obama was inaugurated for the first time okay but on to what I was going to talk about <laughs> uh, I think it's kind of ironic that uh, she saw the things that she saw. I wouldn't have thought that she would have seen all those things when she was here. Uh, but she's, she's just like that. She's very insightful. And uh, it was just, uh, I appreciate her putting that article out again. And, but uh, I, it kind of made me feel like, uh, you know, some people think that I can do a lot more than I can. Uh, and I'm glad in some ways, in some ways I'm not. But, uh,. <laughs> One of the ironies of Parkinson's disease is, uh, for me anyway, is when I, when my Parkinson's really uh, overwhelms my medicine. <laughs> my medicine is overwhelmed by the Parkinson's. Um, I can walk up steps, but I can't walk on level ground hardly. And uh, another irony is uh, when I, I wish somebody had never told me this because I think it's sometimes just the fact of knowing it that makes my mind uh, interrupt my steps, but. A lot of Parkinson's patients have trouble when they get to a doorway. They can't seem to walk through it, you know. And that's for me, too. I get there, and it's like, okay, here's the doorway. Step, Judy. Move feet, move feet. They won't move it's until uh, another 30 seconds or a minute or so. Anyway, but um, that's one of the ironies of Parkinson's disease. And then it kind of, if you kind of flip it around, it's an irony in life. I think so many times we, we wish our lives would slow down. Well, mine slowed down a lot, but it's kind of like, well, God, I didn't mean it that slow, you know, uh, when I, when I, my Parkinson's symptoms get so bad that I have to just move really, really slow. I mean, like, snail slow, but anyway, fortunately, that doesn't happen too often, but it's getting to be a little more aggravating. So, one of the ironies is, I'll probably have to have wires in my brain to help that. How they got to that, I never know. But anyway, a lot of my friends have done it and uh, had some success. So, kind of at the end of the rope with some other stuff. So, I guess we'll do that in the next few months. But uh, just be praying for me about that, okay? So, I don't know that it'll help anything else up there in my brain. But uh, <laughs> we'll just hope it'll help this Parkinson's, crazy Parkinson's symptoms. But, um, okay, let me think. What else was there I was going to talk to you about was a common irony. Um... Well, it's life slowing down <laughs> way too much sometimes. But, uh, oh, it's talking about how some people, we spend all of our lives wanting to be famous, you know? We want to be different. We want to be different. So when we're different, then we like wish we weren't different, you know? 
<laughs> so I, I mean, uh, I mean, I guess I always wanted to be different in the way. So now I'm different because I have Parkinson's disease. I'm like, God, I didn't really mean that different, you know. Hey, but well, you know, when you think about it, a lot of these, I just don't understand these young kids. Everybody wants to be a rock star. Mm. Yeah. Then look at all these people that won uh, American Idol. Where are they at now? Well, I don't know. Kind of makes you wonder, huh? But uh, my theory is they got there a little too fast and get, didn't get a lot of the learnings that other people did along the way trying to struggle to get there. So, some things wished for too quick may not be the best. But anyway, uh, so, so see, there's an irony. Some of us want to be different and we are different and we don't like it. So, that can be... <laughs> So I was I've got to be different in a way that I didn't really expect. So, and, but uh, then some people who get to be different in the way they were expecting don't really, really like the outcome. Oh, sorry, I'm not talking too well. Uh, that's the other thing I was thinking about. <laughs> you know, um, we all want people to take, uh, listen to us, and understand us, comprehend what we say, think that we're pretty smart for what we say. Well, it seems like about the time that that kicks in in your life, you have teenagers. I don't care what age you are, you'll have teenagers, and they don't really care what you think. But you say it anyway, <laughs> and maybe someday it sinks in. Hope so. I think I think a lot of the stuff my mom and dad said when I was a teenager, I kind of get it now. It's unfortunate it takes so long. But anyway, maybe it's just to show us uh, we've got to be diligent anyway. Uh, well, I'm not sh too sure I can remember any of the other things. I can't write things down because I can't read my writing anymore. So, uh, hopefully in a few more minutes this medicine will kick in. I'll be moving around, hopping and skipping and dancing and jumping. But until then, this is how I am. And, uh, but, uh, hope you guys will take care and just, uh, uh, say a prayer for one another. And, uh, I'll be praying for you guys. And thanks for each of you, uh, um, and your encouraging words you send me, and uh, just hang in there. God's got something good in store for us, okay? Love you. Bye.